Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a quick uh, tips and tricks for Guild Wars 2. I'm sure most of you are already aware of these, but uh, I ran into some people who haven't, so I figured I'd make a quick video. Uh, basically, going to touch base on inventory management, map management, and contact status. So, without further ado, I will start. So, inventory management, you can see here, if we open up my inventory window, it's pretty messy. Uh, i got a bunch of junk, mostly collectibles. Uh, things that I've earned, etc., uh, etc. Et so the first and the easiest one is obviously you know is if you right-click you can deposit a collectible to your bank. Well, this is great, but if you have lots of them, as you can see, it can be very te tedious to right-click on every single one to do so. So what you can do is if you hit the little gear at the top, you can deposit all your collectibles in one single shot. I found that very useful. A lot of people don't know about it because it's just in the corner here. Um, another thing with your inventory is compact. What's nice about this is it will get rid of all the white spaces in between your items. Of course, the problem with that is if you actually like to organize stuff by bag, that will destroy that. The other one here is show hide bag, so you can basically make it into one bag if you like. And just for the sake of the video, I'm going to compact my equipment just to show you. All right, so with inventory management, that's a pretty good key here for organizing. Uh, another thing is the search. One thing a lot of people think the search is for is just to look at names that you know, like the basic salvage kit or uh, whatever else you want here. However, it also does description searching. So, for example, if you want to see all your rare items, just type in rare. And you'll see here that I have no rares, however, but in the description, these things uh, have a chance of recovering rare items. Another one is you can look at, for example, masterwork. Eh, I can't type today. don't have any. However, if you look at... Uh, I don't know, let's see here, uh, power. For the weapons, you can see that these provide power. So that's a very useful search tool. Uh, of course, you can obviously see how many inventory spots you have and how much is use, used, and you can also decide whether or not you want to buy some additional slots. Um, you can also see your karma, how many gems you have, and your current money available to you, not in the bank, though. The next thing I'd like to touch base on is just your contacts. For sake of uh, protection of my friends, I've hidden the contacts down below so you can't see it. However, you can... Uh, we could just do this, actually. Here we go. You can look at here and you can change your statuses to invisible, away, online, looking for group, etc., which will help you, you know, manage your availability to your friends. Not sure if it affects your guild status or not. Probably does. And the last item is just your map management. And at the bottom right is your mini-map. Uh, well, one thing a lot of people don't realize is if you uh, hold down shift, click and drag, you can draw circles and things like this. Great for group work or PvP or just planning your attack. Uh, also, if you just click, hold down shift and click, you can ping the map, as it were. And um, if you go into your big map, and you can do this on the mini-map as well, if you do click shift and a waypoint, it will put it into your chat window. And what's nice about that is that uh, individuals can... Uh, click on it and it will bring it up onto your map as you can see. This also works for waypoints, um, sorry, points of interest. However, it doesn't work for things like uh, skill points and such like that. Anyway, um, hopefully that information is useful for, to you guys. Uh, so one last comment actually about the map is if you click on pan the story, it'll tell you where your next quest is or you can pan to yourself. And uh, anyway, hopefully that information is good for you. So have a good day. I'll try to make more videos in the future.